keep it secret, it's different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you ain't like Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Today we have Stefan Marbury's replica build Starberry when he played for the Suns. Now, before we get into the video, though, make sure you drop a like and subscribe as liking up the video puts the video to the recommended. And, of course, subscribe and put you a noted game for my daily dub uploads. But now let's hop straight into this video. Okay, so yesterday we did T-Wolves. Um, replica of um, Stefan and now we're gonna be doing the Suns um, a lot of people were saying like yeah he played for the Knicks and he did but when he played for the Knicks he was not as I guess you can say they're pretty much the same like the stats and stuff are the same for Suns and Knicks it's not much of a difference but the Suns is actually a little bit better so I'm going with the Suns all right so we're gonna do a zero point guard right-handed number three um, again we're gonna go at six foot three 190 pounds and then we'll go six foot seven and then body shape, I'm going to find, but you can pick any body shape that you want, all right? Now, um, how we're going to do this is, is, like, again, each one of these two from yesterday and today, they have their pros and cons. One thing I would definitely say for this one, that it has a 98 close shot. So, already off rip, as you see, you get Fearless Finisher on Hall of Fame, Giant Slayer on Hall of Fame, Fast Switch on Hall of Fame already by having such a high close shot. And then your driving layup is a 94. So as you can see, this is going to be a better finishing build just off of the close shot and driving layup, right? Now, you will still get slithery just at gold. Obviously, you have to have a 99 driving layup, and we're not able to do that with this replica. So we're still going to be happy with gold. Then your driving dunk will go to a 37, and then post control at a 47, okay? So you do have 16 badges total to work with. But the most important ones, to be honest with you, is going to be Giant Slayer acrobat and fearless finisher and then of course slithery which again you will have to add a badge point there to be able to get it on gold okay then on the shooting 89 on the mid-range which is insane so as you can see this is going to be higher than the t wolves version and you get an 82 three-point shot which is actually lower so this version here has more higher finishing the higher mid-range and then the t wolves version just has a, low, a lower finishing and a higher three ball so again this is all about pros and cons of how your play style is and which one suits you better but regardless this build is going to be shoot really well with an 82 three ball and in the 89 mid-range you're going to go crazy with that mini position if you're someone that likes to fade in the mid-range yeah this is going to be really really good for you okay and you have 24 shooting badge points to work off of and then your ball handle is a 92 and then your pass accuracy is an 80 now that 92 ball handle, the big thing about that is that, yes, you will be able to get the, um, the Curry and the Trey Young size ups. Those are very important. Again, a lot of people always try to get those animations. Those are two of the best animations in the game. So, yes, you'll be able to get that. Pass accuracy, I'm stopping at 80. You don't need to go no higher than 80 pass accuracy unless you're trying to get, you know, Hall of Fame badges. But for the most part, 80 pass accuracy is really, really good. You're not going to see much of a difference. So you want to go at least 80 when these guards builds. And then again, 79 on the speed with ball. So instead of having that ridiculously high number, T-Wolves is the young Stefan Marbury, right? Young one. This one right here, the Suns is more of the veteran. So he's not as crazy speed with ball. And remember, we don't need a high speed with ball. So this is good to only have that. So you still have 23 playmaking badges to work with in total. So right now we're looking at 16, 24, and 23. Then you want to go 42 on your interior defense. You can go all the way up to 80 on your perimeter defense, which is really dope. 45 on your steal, 30 on your block, 26 on your offensive rebound, and 36 on your defensive. So you still have eight defensive badge points to that you're looking at um right here which again is really really solid um when you're talking about just a guard build all you really need is perimeter defense anyway especially at 6-3 you're not going you, you're going against 6-9 players so if you can't get a high perimeter defense and still then it doesn't really matter anything else because that's all that matters at that height and again this is a more of a play shot like yellow um green pie chart type build well actually i don't know because it does have crazy finishing but regardless you, you're not expecting to have defense from your primary ball handler it's, it's good to have but it's not a must-have for a primary 
excuse me so for your speed you want to go 80 on your speed of course you get to still get 90 on your acceleration so all in all you're going to be good remember 75 and above speed you can't really tell much of a difference there and of course your acceleration at a 90 is going to be very very important so you'll be able to obviously accelerate out of your dribbles really good along with that hall of fame quick first step we're going to go 56 on the strength 75 on the vert and then of course 90 on the stamina so 16 24 23 and 8 so you're looking at again really really solid build really good build all around and it's all really predicated on your play style shot creating sharp lock and playmaking i want ankle breaking shots and limitless range threes but again you can go double limitless i know some people like that some people love going different routes about you know maybe they want to do pull up precision because they like doing fades but it's really your preference but then here you have it my nephews and nieces again a really 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 strong replica build really dope to have him back in the game and again you see tony parker and d'angelo Ooh, d'angelo russell like that's pretty dope like yeah man that's pretty crazy to have him in there but yeah so here you have it this is the son stefan marbury um starberry replica build now we're going to test this build out real quick get 99 and then we'll get you out of here and again like i said when we go here 99 we're gonna have to add some for your uh one badge point here okay so we want fearless finisher giant slayer those are the must-haves then we're gonna come out here record slithery come back up get acrobat and then now you're good so giant slayer acrobat fearless finisher hall of fame slithery just add one badge point there to get that on gold and you're good on the shooting side we want to go green machine um we want to go it just depends on play style man i would probably go green machine and thing down here i would go with blinders and then you have options for limitless range, dead eye, agent threes. All these are bronze. Remember, he only has an eight two three ball, so it's really your preference there. I'm gonna probably go something like this. I ain't gonna lie to you. I even might even throw in catch and shoot, just because again, that's just something to have as an off ball player. You can either go with um, space crater if you love doing hop shots and stuff with this build. You could do that, and even go claymore and then um, comeback kid. So Claymore and catch and shoot is basically passing the ball, running to the corner, whatever else you're doing. You know, it's just good to have. Some guards don't utilize that, but if you're not like the elite of the elite, you know, sometimes you're playing with randoms. Yeah, you, it's good to have catch and shoot and Claymore too because you might not have the ball every time. So it's really your preference. Then here you have quick first step. Um, you want to get your hyperdrive. Come out here, core this, get your handles for days. Come back up here and then you're good to go. All right, you're good to go. Now, if you are have the option to double core, what I recommend double coring is always gonna be your shooting, okay? Double core your shooting or double core your playmaking. But again, you have everything you need here. That's unless you wanna get, some people love killer combos for some reason or bailout, then double core. But if I had to add more badge points, I would probably go here just because again, you might wanna get like limitless range threes or something like that. Defensively, let's just find the highest one. So we're core menace, um, we'll get pick dodger um, and then we'll get workhorse, okay? But anyway, there you have it, my nephews and nieces. This is Stefan Mar Marbury's Phoenix Suns version of his replica build, Starberry. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, just make sure you drop a like, you subscribe to the channel, and as usual, your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with another banger, man. And you know, when I say back soon, another banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.